Welcome back to DIY with KB. If you're new here, my name is Kiva and I teach people how to achieve the luxe look for less. I don't know about you guys, but one of my favorite things about traveling isn't the tropical paradise, it is the bed in the hotel. They are so fluffy and luxurious and nice. Today, I'm going to show you how to achieve that wonderful hotel bedding look at home on a budget. I'm telling you, everything today is gonna to be super affordable and these things are gonna take your bedroom to the very next level. Before we get into today's video, please remember to subscribe to my channel, like this video, and check me out on Instagram. And if you want me to design your home, click the link in my description box for my virtual design sessions. Now let's get into today's video. The first step to creating a luxurious looking bed is to buy the right sheets. So a luxe bed doesn't just have to do with the way things look, but it also has to do with comfort. So not all sheets are created equal, and I'm gonna tell you my favorite, most affordable sheets in the entire world. My favorite sheets are from the Wamsutta collection at Bed Bath & Beyond. Wamsutta was acquired by Bed Bath & Beyond um, many years ago, and their sheets are phenomenal. Now, they have two styles of sheets that I wanna to talk to you about today. So I'm, I'm actually trying these ones today. They are that, they're sateen sheets, and these are on sale right now for only $35. So as you probably saw, they're only 350 thread count, so this will be my first time trying them, and I normally buy sheets with a higher thread count because they just tend to be more comfortable, but these sheets, I believe, are 100% Egyptian cotton, which is fantastic. I never wanna put polyester on my skin just because I find it very uncomfortable, and you wanna kind of just glide on your bed, and that's why I'm actually going with sateen because it has a really nice soft feel. You feel kind of just like you're on like a slippery pillow and I really like that. So these sheets I'm going in with because they're really inexpensive, but my favorite sheets are actually also by Wamsutta and these are the King Stripe Pima Cotton Sheets. They're 500 thread count. They come in 500, 750, 800, and 1,000. You can buy any of those. And I believe these ones were $69. They're on sale right now, but at Bed Bath & Beyond, you can always get a 20% off coupon online. And if you belong to the Bed Bath & Beyond membership program, you get 20% off every single item of every single purchase. And I believe it's $20 a year and might be more, but it's totally worth it. This is not sponsored by Bed Bath & Beyond. I just really, really love their sheets. So the sheets are just like a really good way to start the bed because you want something that's comfortable. Of course, I love getting that luxe look, but comfort is the most important thing, especially when it comes to your bed. Ironing your sheets is really, really important. I know you're like, oh, it's so much effort. It's important because you get all those creases out and we're gonna iron not only our sheets, but also our duvet cover because we want everything to look really nice and crisp. That's what they do in hotels. They can steam them, you can iron them. You can really do either or. I'm gonna iron them because my steamer just like is not my friend right now. So now that your sheet, your top sheet is on the bed, before we steam it, we've already tucked it in the side so that we have some tension. And now we're gonna do some hospital quarters. So I'm not gonna say I'm gonna teach you how to do it, but I am gonna do it right now. I will put some videos down below that I would recommend for learning how to do it. but this really just stops your bed from looking overflowing with sheets and stuff like that. I'm also gonna do this with my comforter, but it's just kind of like a nice little luxe tuck that doesn't leave your covers all over the place. And plus your covers are gonna stay in when you're kicking all night long. Go in with bedding that is classified as hotel bedding, which basically means it has some really cool stitching on it. It pretty much frames out the bed and makes it look really nice and crisp. It tells you exactly how to line up the corners of the bed. Um, and because when you search hotel bedding, this is what comes up. This is how you achieve the hotel look at home. And these are from Bed Bath & Beyond. If you get anything in this video, Bed Bath & Beyond is the best place to get that luxe look for less at home. Again, use that 20% off coupon or sign up for the membership. But this is my favorite set. You can see how they've made the bed right here. It just looks so nice and refined. It kind of just pillows over onto the side. 
it has this really nice trim. I don't know. It just adds some clean lines, which is exactly what you want in a crisp face, right? That's what I'm talking about in all my videos about modern design. So that's what you want to do on your bed. If you don't like all white, they do have hotel style bedding in darker colors. And you can always skip the hotel bedding and do just like a solid color. That is what I would do instead if you're not inclined to do the hotel stitching. So again, this is a comforter, so I don't have to worry about a duvet, but when you have a duvet cover, you can either put one comforter in them or you can put two in them. When you put two inside, it makes it really nice and fluffy, so it makes the bed look a little bit more full. Sometimes comforters can look really flat, so this is just going to give it a little bit of life, plus it's going to make it a lot more comfortable if you ever sit in your bed. The next step is to dress your bed with pillows and throw blankets. So they don't necessarily do this at hotels because there's a really high turnover, but when you're looking at luxury stores and luxury homes, you always see people laying their bed with throw pillows, normal pillows, and throw blankets. I'm going in with this throw blanket from Wamsada, and I'm going in with this kind of throw because it is the same color as the trim on my comforter, as well as the same color as my sheets. So I'm sticking in my color scheme, but I'm making those colors pop. So that it's not just really boring and one dimensional with just white being the color. We do have that gray brown color making an appearance on different parts of the bed. So when you're doing pillows on a bed, you want to make sure that the pillows are to scale. So this is a king size bed. Our bed is even bigger than a king size bed, which means that I need to use king size pillows. You can't go in there with a standard pillow. We got a spring for the more expensive one. You can get them for really cheap at Ikea. If you want a little bit more of a step up, Bed Bath & Beyond. I just press these really lightly because, you know, whatever. But what you want to do is you want to open up your pillowcase and you want to shove the pillows in there, label down. Obviously you can cut them off, but you want to put the labels inside so that if the pillow covers slip, you can sleep soundly without those things scratching up against your face. So this is what one looks like. Again, I buy down pillows because down can fill with air really easily and look really nice and fluffy. But when you want to sleep on it, it deflates really easily and you can really kind of scrunch it up in any way you need to, to sleep really comfortably. So this is one pillow. What I like to do if I'm not looking at my bed head on is I actually like to do the area with the opening to the inside of the bed so that it scratches my wife and not me in the middle of the night. But it's whatever you wanna do. Just be sure to tuck your pillow in correctly so that nothing even has the opportunity to fall out and it doesn't really matter the direction. When it comes to pillows, you can do so many different arrangements. When you have two pillows stacked on one another, that is what they tend to do in more modern homes. In more traditional homes, they just have pillows like one in front of the other, which you can also do. My favorite arrangement and the one that makes it look most like a hotel or like a bed and breakfast is when you have three or two euro pillows behind your main pillows and then you just have two of your main pillows in front of each other. I think it looks really nice and luxe. You don't show as much of the under color as you'd like but it looks so nice and crisp and clean and fancy and there are not too many pillows on the bed so you don't have to worry about throwing them all on the floor when it's time to go to sleep. And last but not least, if you really want to achieve that hotel feel, you can add a tray to your bed with fresh florals, coffee, tea, your books, anything you use for your nighttime routine that looks aesthetically pleasing. You can put this on the end of your bed and it's just kind of like a nice welcoming touch. You can also do this especially in guest rooms. I like to do that when people come to visit because I have all the little things that they might need at nighttime sitting on this tray. 
Okay guys, that's it for today's video. I was able to give you a few tips on how to make your bed look more luxurious. It not only looks more luxurious, but it feels more luxurious. If you liked today's video, please remember to subscribe, like this video, and check me out on Instagram. And if you want me to design your home, click the link in my description box for my virtual design sessions. Until next time, have a beautiful day and thanks for watching.